if we want to make changes to our road string, maybe we want to rename it, we want to delete it, we want to choose a different surface, there's a few tools we can use to help us manage that. The first one is the resample sections button. If you click on that button, it's found on the roads tab, and then left click close to the road string or the alignment that we've just created. Resample sections will bring up the same form that we used at creation. Um, there are some limitations. We can't rename within this form and we certainly can't choose a different template at present. However, if we wanted to change the surface that was being sampled in the background, this is where we do it. We can also change how often the software will sample the target surface. So if we didn't like 10, we could go ahead and change it. We can also alter the section width. So if 15 meters left and right of the center line wasn't enough, we could edit that now. So there's a few things we can do with resample sections. It's also a really good way of just getting the row string to be refreshed. So if we have made a change to, say, the horizontal geometry, um, or even the vertical geometry, and you need the software to go and ahead and refresh the string, um, you can just simply open up resample sections and click on OK, and the software will do the rest. If you are looking to rename the string, again, this is the same process we took with the civil site design alignments. On the roads tab, there is a rename road or string button. So we can click on that button and then press enter to produce it from a list or left click close to it, select it, and we can rename it there. It's important that the string is renamed at the same time as the alignment. For Civil 3D users wanting to rename strings, you will need to use the same tool. It's important that you do not go and rename the Civil 3D alignment in tool space. The string is looking for the alignment name, and if it finds that the alignment name has changed, it will prompt you until it can find that particular alignment. If you want to rename a Civil 3D alignment, or want to name a string that's sitting on top of an alignment, make sure that you use this particular tool to undertake that task. If we want to delete the road string from the project, again on the edit panel we have a delete road object button. If you click on the pull down there is the delete string button. In the form we can choose to delete any number of strings within the project apart from the grading strings. Down the bottom left hand corner we've got the option to do two things. First of all we we'll delete the string only. That will leave the alignment in the drawing just deleting the civil site design string and beneath that, delete the alignment and the string. If you delete the alignment and the string, there is no going back. This will delete your Civil 3D or Civil Site Design alignment and the string at the same time. Click on the cross on the top right hand corner of the form to close it down. If you accidentally delete a string but leave the alignment behind, there is an undelete string button. Now, if you leave the alignment in the drawing, and don't delete it, the software will allow you to undelete the road string if you happen to have made a mistake of some sort. So there's a few management tools you can make use of all within the edit panel which will all assist you with your road string. Now we're going to focus on the vertical design.